Ceremonies across the country honoring those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. We have live TV coverage of events happening all over South Florida and Local 10's Madeline Wright joins us live from Margate with more on what's going on there. Madeline? Janice, Nikki, the ceremony here at this park in Margate wrapped up about two hours ago. I talked to two men today who have a personal connection to the holiday. A rifle salute. The playing of taps. And the presentation of colors. All part of Monday's ceremony at Veterans Memorial Park in Margate. About 200 people came out to honor the men and women who died in military service for our country. It's like my shirt says, uh, you know, it's... Freedom isn't free. There's a price to pay. Bob Bellano lost his cousin 50 years ago in Vietnam. Enemy fire struck 21-year-old Gary Salinitro's helicopter, causing it to crash and burn. And back in those days, we were all in the lottery, so we were wondering if we were all going to get drafted. And, and after losing a loved one, a cousin, first cousin, it was a, a tough time. Bellano accepts his cousin's death, but has never forgotten his sacrifice. Luis Mathias, who lost his son-in-law in Afghanistan, says the turnout means a lot. We appreciate everybody that just take time to come here. The ceremony was solemn at times, lively at others. It is not a day for barbecue. You know, I know we all barbecue and have a good time, but we have to also take a time to remember the day the guys that they died for our freedom. I think they would want us to, to celebrate to celebrate friends and family and to honor them. I think that's what they died for. And to see more images of the ceremony, I've posted video on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can follow me at MWritewplg. Live in Margate, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.